Eastern black rhinos are one of the four subspecies of black rhinos found in Africa, and it is one of the populations that is critically endangered in our lifetime. They will most likely go extinct if we don't do anything to help them. Eastern black rhinos are facing a lot of challenges to their population. The biggest one, of course, being their horn. Now, their horn is pretty much the same thing that our fingernails or our hair are made out of. However, in some cultures, that horn is believed to cure cancer or to help with the common cold, or it's even used as a status symbol for some families as a sign of wealth and stature. And so what's happening is about a thousand rhinos a year are being poached specifically for their horns. The last count of uh, eastern black rhinoceros in the wild was there were about uh, 880 of them left in Africa, and those numbers are probably lower than that count. Every time we have a baby rhino, that's one more rhino in the world. And so at this point, we are at the, we are at the point of just preserving one more every time we have another birth in the United States. Through our breeding programs, we are hoping to ensure that the sustainability of the population, and so even if we do lose most of the wild rhinos, we still have a population in human care that we can continue the species. The captive population in North America's genetic diversity is better than the wild population in most of Africa because of the way we move the animals and keep the genetic matter spread out evenly over the group. And hopefully at some point in time, there is the opportunity for us to return those animals back into the wild instead of risking extinction of another species here on our planet. More people need to know the plight of the rhino. More people need to be involved with making sure the United States doesn't import any of those kind of materials, whether it's from an elephant or a rhino uh, into this country. And I think it's a continued learning process and, and we have the best learning tool there is. We have live animals to teach people what's going on. These animals can be great ambassadors to help uh, people understand how wonderful these animals are, to see how beautiful they are, to meet them and find out what great personalities they have. Right now we are witnessing what's being deemed the sixth largest mass extinction of wildlife. And so by having rhinos in human care, we're hopefully trying to combat that and keeping those populations around for generations to come.